Hey my loves, Wagwan Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shanice and if you're new, welcome, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of these delicious and amazing recipes. In this video, as you can see, we will be making some ahi tuna steak. Yum, right? I know this is not a fish like salmon or um, tilapia flounder that everyone eats, but if you're a fan of sushi, then you will definitely enjoy tuna steak. So I'm working with two steaks. First things first, you want to ensure that your fish is pat dry. I already dried these, but I'm just showing you that you can never pat dry enough. One tip on how to get very well cooked fish is to ensure that it is extremely dry before cooking. Now, I know you're used to the sesame crusted um, tuna steak, but I will not be doing that with this tuna steak i'm just gonna season it but first i'm just gonna go ahead and um, soak it in around a quarter cup of soy sauce and i'm also gonna add around a teaspoon of this garlic and herb concentrate just for some extra flavor i'm gonna go ahead and put my tuna steak in it make sure that i go back and forth on each side you could also put this in a big ziploc and save it overnight in the fridge this is going to ensure that your tuna steak is tasty and so flavorful. But I'm just going to let this sit out on the countertop for around 30 minutes going back and forth on each side. Another tip on having beautifully cooked fish is having it sit out at room temperature before cooking it. Okay, so you want to grab your skillet and put it on high flame, allow that to get hot and go in with your cooking oil. I'm using vegetable oil. It's really, really crucial to use a high smoking point oil when cooking fish. For example, vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, canola oil. This is going to ensure that your fish is cooked beautifully. So let's go ahead and season our tuna steak. I'm just going to go in with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder. I'd say around two teaspoons each per side. Please ensure that your oil is hot. If you're not sure, go ahead and use a thermometer. And around 425 degrees Fahrenheit should be good. You can always decrease the temperature to around 400 degrees once you start cooking it. As you can see, I'm moving um, my tuna steak on the side so that it can get some seasonings as well. We want to ensure that everywhere is seasoned. Then I'm going to slowly and carefully place it in my pan away from me. Now, I'm only going to cook my tuna steak for around 50-55 seconds per side. Some people do 45 seconds, that's if you want it on the rear side. I prefer mine a little bit more well done, but of course, it's totally up to your preference. So once you put your tuna in, you definitely want to keep an eye on the time because the time goes by super fast and it takes less than a second to overcook this baby right here. Now, while that side is cooking, I'm just going to quickly season this other side uh, with the same seasonings I used, salt, garlic powder, and some black pepper. And of course, you can use whatever seasonings you prefer, Cajun, you name it. And I'm just pressing the seasonings in a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip my tuna steak. Moment of truth. Can I have a drum roll, please? There goes, it's looking beautiful. So now we're gonna cook this side for the same time, around 50 seconds. I'm not even gonna cook the sides. This is not steak, guys. We don't have to worry about rendering any fat. We wanna still see that little pink on the sides. At least that's how I prepare mine. Okay, after that um, 50 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and remove my tuna steak and I'm going to actually allow it to rest for a little bit before slicing into it. So after resting for around two minutes, you can go ahead and slice your tuna steak. You can serve it with some soy sauce, with sesame oil, um, if you want to do some teriyaki sauce, if you want to eat it plain as is, totally up to you. But just look how beautiful this piece of fish is just sitting right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice my tuna steak. I'm going to serve this over some rice um, with some avocado. 
You definitely want to ensure that you're using a sharp knife when you're slicing your tuna steak just to get those beautiful slices. Mine wasn't as sharp enough, but please ensure you're using a sharp knife. And you want to still see that pink fish when you slice into it guys this is supposed to melt in your mouth when you take a bite i'm telling you guys this was so so delicious if you haven't had tuna steak this is your sign to go ahead and grab some it's also packed with protein and other nutrients that the body needs so if you're working out you know watching your weight no need to worry this is a perfect post-workout meal or if you want a meal prep this is also great and as usual the link to this recipe will be down below in the description box that will take you to my website where you'll find the full written recipe also don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter so you get free recipes straight to your email every single week if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button come join the jamming family thank you guys for all the support walk good stay safe until next time